It's just, it's a lot though. I gotta get a little bit of that. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Oh, this feels so weird. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, even though I probably never did have any idea what I was doing. This is my first kind of like regular-ish video back to the channel since I have been away for a little bit. If you guys do not know, um, I was hacked like a month ago and uh, technically I, I'm still hacked. Yep. As of filming this video, I still do not have access to my account but right now steps are being taken to remedy that at least I hope so at least that's what I've heard so I'm very hopeful right now and hopefully things are going to continue like as usual on this channel once I get everything all completely figured out I will definitely be updating you guys and letting you know like the whole story the full shebang everything that happened but today we are going to be getting into an unboxing video something normal for me but really quickly I do want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor which is Home Chef and yes that does mean you guys are going to be getting a cooking with Alexandria segment in this video uh, I did film it just right around the time when I was originally had and my first YouTube paycheck was stolen so I, I might be just a little bit down in it but I thought making some really delicious home chef food would make me feel a little bit better. So that cooking segment is going to be in between our two unboxings today because we do have two unboxings. So without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into those. I really do feel like I've forgotten how to function and we oh, operate as a subscription plex unboxer but i'm gonna do my best so on the top here i'm assuming this is the ipsy glam bag plus and then this bigger boy down here on the bottom i'm assuming is the ipsy ultimate which is a new subscription for ipsy i've heard some stuff uh that the ipsy ultimate might not be perhaps what people originally thought it would be. But I'm really excited to get on in here and uh, see what they have in store for us. This is an eyebrow trimmer and that's what I'm gonna use to cut the tape open. I also accidentally sliced my thumb open with one of these the other day. Didn't think it was that sharp. All right, so for our first box here, this is a $25 subscription. You're supposed to get five full-size personalized products. No, I'm not reading from like the little site right here. Um, apparently you get to choose one product each month, which I think is new and each delivery has $120 value. So I just really, really, really wanna see, especially with the Ipsy Ultimate, has to offer. So the very first thing I'm seeing in here is from Dr. Brandt and it's a quite, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Familiar product. Uh, I've received this in several boxes before, especially like BoxyCharm and a couple other things. This is the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. It's like a super sharp gritty, <laughs> which doesn't sound too much fun, but it's like a very finely milled grit that like really, really scrubs your face. I'm also fairly certain this is a little bit expensive, so that is nice. Okay, next up in here, we have something from Jewel Smith. This is the Power Gloss in Namaste All Day and Serene Queen. So just a little duo of glosses here. One's kind of like, are they the same color? No. Okay, so they are like just ever so slightly a different color. This one maybe is like a little bit more warm, whereas this one's like a little bit more pink or something. Oh, it is actually really, really pigmented. A little bit sticky. There's like golden flecks inside. How cute. Oh, I was already wearing lip gloss and that's like a whole lot of lip gloss. Okay, so here it is on. Um, It just looks very lip glossy. It doesn't feel too like sticky or stringy though, so it's not bad. It's just, it's a lot though. I gotta get a little bit of that. All right, next up here we have something from Tarte. Oh, that's fun. This is a chrome paint shadow pot in the shade Martini. <laughs> I just, I never understand like the box being double the size of the thing. I was like, man, that's a whole lot of eyeshadow. And I pulled it out and then I'm like, oh, actually it's just, it's that little guy in there. Oops, he's, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a martini. I don't know why you want to put an olive in anything that you eat, drink, or, or are near. It's a really pretty kind of deep golden color when it's swatched and it catches the light really nicely. So I like that. Ooh, okay, get distracted. Okay, I was going to grab out this, but then I saw something else in there that looks very intriguing. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is from Tracetique, and I guess everything they do just has that kind of triangle pyramid crayon crayon uh, looking shape to it. So this is an all over starlight. It's a powder stick. I don't know. I'm guessing it's maybe like a highlight or something. I got mine in the shade ultraviolet. Oh, that's kind of cute. All right. So it looks like somebody lopped off the top of a colored pencil and uh, that's the actual outer packaging of it. And then I guess you just twist. 
Whoa. Oh, I thought that was about to go flying. Are you serious? I'm doing my darndest here to actually like twist this up, but apparently like I guess that's that's all you get. Every time I twist it, it kind of like pops back down and goes back up. Ooh, it is violent. Oh, uh, there it is slushed on the back of my hand and it definitely has kind of like that not exactly a duochrome, it's almost just purely violet. When it catches the light, you can definitely see that like purple sheen to it. I personally don't really wear colored highlights like this, but I've seen some really, really pretty looks done with them, so that's different and unique. All right, this is what I got distracted by. Actually, two things in here. Oh! Good lord. Anyway, um... <laughs> Okay, so the things that I got distracted by numerous times were these little things right here. These are from Betty, Boop, and Ipsy. I forgot that these were supposed to be included in this month's boxes. So we have a Betty Boop inspired little bag here with a cute little heart zipper. And then on the back, we have that, you know, this stuff. And then we have a little Betty Boop and Ipsy cheek to cheek blush palette. That's cute. I like the outer packaging. It's got like a little red boop on it and a little bee. Ooh, and then the colors on the inside are very pretty as well. Very light colors. And it looks like especially these here on the end might kind of have like a sheen or something to them. I swatched the three right here but you almost can't even see that third one on me. I'm just, I don't know. I'm very, very pale but it's not really appearing on my skin. I do like these colors here, especially this one here at the top. But I'm hoping they have like a wider range of color choices just because I think this one would be a little too light for people with deeper skin tones. Alright, so that was everything in the Glam Bag Plus box. I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys some prices of everything and then we'll do a little simple addition unless you're me and you have to use a calculator for any type of math to see what the total value of our box is. So the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion was $79, which is very, very pricey. The Tarte Chrome Shadow Paint was $22. Then we have the Trace Steak All Over Starlight Powder Stick, which was $18. The Betty Boop Cheek Palette was $28. I don't know, that might be a little bit much. That's like almost $10 a pan of blush. And I don't know, I just think that might be a tiny, tiny bit too much. And then, oh, and then we have the Jewel Smith Beauty Power Gloss Duo, which is $32 for the two lip glosses. And I also think that might just be that did bring the total value to $179, which is over the $120 value that they promised. And honestly, I thought it was a pretty good box. Not gonna lie, I'm definitely gonna get my money to support the back out of that uh, microdermabrasion stuff from Dr. Brandt. That stuff is super expensive, but I do really like it. So now I don't have to buy it on my own, which I probably, I wouldn't anyway, because it's $79, but now I have it. Okay, so that was the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. We are gonna move on into the Ipsy Ultimate, which I am excited about, but also nervous. So uh, we'll see see what this has in store for us. But first, we're gonna hop into a, another segment of Cooking with Alexandria, but just like a little bit more sad this time. Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, today I've had a rough week. <laughs> I bet you can't tell though. I bet I look like the just the picture of Anyway, today we are going to be making a lovely, delicious meal together. Sometimes when you're just having a really bad week or a really bad day, the best thing to help you feel better is a delicious, easy to prepare and easy clean up meal. And that is what we're going to be making today with the help of Home Chef. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Let's go ahead and pop on in here and see what meals I have to choose from this week. As you guys know, Home Chef is a meal delivery service that delivers fresh pre-portioned ingredients straight to your door and you can create some really delicious restaurant quality meals. So this week I have the option between apple cider glazed pork tenderloins with roasted apples and Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are one of my new like favorite foods, so that sounds very tempting. Sweet chili pork lettuce wraps with crispy rice noodles. Yum. Oh, this one's a big one. Sirloin steak with balsamic onion jam. That sounds so good. And then finally, broccoli cheddar crusted chicken. Oh, that also sounds good. I don't know. I'll make all of them at one time. I personally think I'm gonna go with the broccoli cheddar crusted chicken because that sounds so good and so different. That's one thing I love about Home Chef, like everything is pretty familiar, like broccoli and cheese and chicken, but they always jazz it up a little bit like with this. You put the broccoli and cheese on your chicken. I would have never thought to do that by myself. Each Home Chef dinner portion is $9.95 a serving. They also have really easy quick five minute lunches, which are $7.99 a portion. And they just make it super easy and fun to cook at home. You don't have to like stress over like, oh my gosh, what 
what are you gonna eat? And then you ask your boyfriend, I don't know, what do you want to eat? And then he asks you the question back. And then it's just a forever ending loop of, I don't know, what do you want? It really helps to have like a couple of different meals to pick from that you know are gonna be really good and easy to make. So let's get into this broccoli cheddar chicken. Oh my coffee. Ooh. finger. Everybody's always worried about the knives, but I just cut my finger on the aluminum foil rippy thing. If Chopped has taught me anything, you just gotta slap a band-aid on it and keep going. I'm sorry, but why is this the only size band-aid we have in this house? I can't bend my finger. Holy guacamole, this looks amazing and it smells even better. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to taste this. All right, bon appetit. Oh, oh, I love massive piles of melted cheese. I'm not kidding you when I say I think that's one of my favorite things I've tried from Home Chef. I've loved everything, but that was so good. And if you too would like to create some delicious meals with Home Chef, they're currently offering their biggest discount ever, $20 off your first four boxes for a total of $80 off. You can use the discount code Alexandria80 to see if you like the service with no huge commitment. You can pause or skip whenever you like. So if you would like to give it a try, click the link in the description and use the code Alexandria80. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and move on into the Ipsy Ultimate here. I think this box is like 50 bucks. I need to look it up first. Can't be telling you guys stuff without actually knowing. I need to actually like tally up how much I spend on Ipsy each month. I'm sure it's alarming. Okay, so this box is $50 a month. You are supposed to receive 12 items within the box. Eight are supposed to be full size and then four are supposed to be something else. All right, so my very first experience with the Ipsy Ultimate, let's not drop it on the ground. Right on top here, we have a little very thick booklet that tells us everything inside. Okay, so just like a quick little like rifle through, um, I'm, I might already be seeing kind of what others are seeing as far as like, maybe not the, maybe not the most like, whoa, spectacular box ever to start out with. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the repeat items from the last box, which are the Betty Boop blush palettes. And these do have the same exact shades. Anything that I get repeat, I'm gonna set to the side for like a giveaway or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna start off with like, I'm guessing the non-full size stuff first. We have two sheet masks here from the same, the same. We have a natural shea butter sheet mask and then a natural avocado sheet mask. So that there's those. Okay, so I never posted my Ipsy showdown for September. I still have that if you guys like would wanna see it. I don't know if you would or would not want to. Um, But I do think I received this product in there or uh, at some point I've gotten this. This is the Unicorn Glow Hydrating Primer. So I think this is a product that I already received in one of my bags. So they are taking things from like the smaller Ipsy bags and then the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and then putting everything together like in the Ultimate plus some more. Okay, so <laughs> another thing Thing we have here is a clay mask, which I think I've also received in one of my Ipsy bags. This is the Lemon Verbena Clay Mask from Ibom. 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 So there is that. Those things will also be included in the giveaway. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is a little set of three Farrah brushes. And um, I don't want to... Farrah brushes just aren't my favorite. They don't really have like the best feel to them. They feel kind of like on the flimsier side, maybe like on the cheaper side a little bit. I haven't felt these yet. They have kind of a bit more weight to them than other Farrah brushes we've received in the past, so maybe they're a little bit better. Oh, I do actually like the deep kind of purpley blue, bluey purple at the end of the brushes. They are very soft. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm pretty sure that in like the regular Ipsy bags, we received a Farrah brush in there too. I will say Say just like each individual brush just feels so very lightweight. I like the texture of the handles of these though. They're very like nice and soft and the bristles do feel pretty nice and soft as well. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see that two-tone but it's like kind of really deep almost cobalty blue at the end of the brush. Okay so next up here we have something from Pharmacy. This is the Gleam Gleam. This is the <laughs> 
Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, which I actually do have this and it works really, really well. It'll melt away anything, just about anything. It is kind of hard to like get it all off your face, I've noticed, but it does work super well at melting your makeup away. So since I already have one of these, I might go ahead and include this in a giveaway as well. Next, we have something from, oh, I, I definitely 100% thought that this was one of the Ofra primers, but it is not. This is Le You Serum Soy Hydrant. Ultimate hydration skincare with Fleximel and Pro. Um, it's supposed to be moisturizing and enhancing from Bio Race. So I thought this was primer, but it's actually some type of skincare, which is kind of nice. My skin has been super, super dry recently, so hopefully this will give it a little bit more moisture and hydration. Okay, so next up in here, we have a little palette from Huda Beauty. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions, and I can't remember if I received this in Ipsy or not. I know I've gotten one of these little tiny guys before in an Ipsy, but I think it was purple or something. Ooh, those are pretty. Uh, these colors are definitely right up my alley. I love anything that looks like fall because of basicness, I guess. Before I swatch this though, I do want to double check to make sure I don't have it because I'm pretty sure I have at least two of these somewhere. Okay, next up we have something from Colored Rain. This is an eyeshadow in the shade Champagne Life. And again, I think I got one of the, man, my memory is bad. I think I got one of these in one of my regular Ipsy bags this month or this past month. If I do anything like a week or more in advance, I'm not gonna remember what it was. So I filmed that video almost a month ago, I assume. And um, yeah, don't I have no recollection, none. This is a very pretty color though. So the color drain shadow just comes in one of these like little plastic guys. It's like a champagne gold color. There it is swatched on the hand. It is very shiny and reflective and pretty. Oh, okay, so the next thing in here is from Makeup Geek. I haven't had anything from Makeup Geek in a while, so this is exciting. This is a highlighter, a lit duochrome highlighter. Oh, it's like pure white. I don't think I've ever had a highlighter that was that pale before. Um, this is supposed to be a duochrome, so I'm interested in seeing what the shift is gonna be. Okay, so this is a super, super pale highlighter. You would definitely have to have a very, very fair complexion to wear this, I think. It kind of has like a peachy gold shift to it. It's a little bit difficult to see, I think, on camera. It's not like really, really brightly reflective or anything. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is from Nanette Lepore, which is that... I think that's fancy. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Nanette Lepore is a fancy, expensive brand. This is a Beautiful Times Eau de Parfum. Okay, so it's just a little spritzy bottle. It doesn't look too crazy fancy, so maybe I was wrong about that. Spritz and a sniff going here. Oh, <laughs> it caught my eyes. Interesting. I actually like that. There's kind of like a vanilla ness to it. Okay, and then the last thing we have in here, which I thought was something entirely different. I thought it was medicine or something. I don't know, these like laughing ladies here on the front of the package just made me think of something in the pharmacy section for some reason, but it's not. This is actually a lip gloss. This is the Reflect Lip Gloss from Sestmui. It's me. Made for young, delicate skin. What? I'm not 100% sure where they're going with that. Are they saying like this lip gloss will give you young, delicate skin? Or is this specifically made for people with young, delicate lips. Because my lips are 27 years old and they're not that, that young nor delicate anymore. So I don't really know what the, what they mean by that. But um, I personally think you could probably wear any type of lip gloss you want to at any age. So uh, again, don't know. This is in the shade Opulence. However, I don't really know if this is a shade that I would really wear. It's kind of like a frosted looking lip gloss and that's just not exactly my favorite. So I don't think I'm gonna try this on. Maybe I can go ahead and just pass this along to somebody with more youthful lips than I have. Okay, and I guess that is it. That is everything in my very first Ipsy Ultimate box. Um. Let's get some prices first before we talk about anything else. Uh, so let's, okay, it's like a road map. Uh, really quickly, we have the Nanette Lepore Beautiful Times. Are they not gonna give us prices? Yeah, interesting. Um, I'm actually not a fan of that. I really like it when boxes include pricing inside of them because it just helps reassure you that you are getting the value that um, 
you actually are paying for. So apparently this is supposed to have at least a $250 value in it. Every box is supposed to, but um, I can't 100% right now tell you guys that if that's accurate or not because I do not have a price list. Um, I'll try to see if I can find the prices on the internet somewhere and like put them throughout the video for you guys. But um, yeah, not a fan of that. The other Ipsy box has it, but for some reason this one doesn't and I don't think that's good. All right, so personally, I have to say, I think I was more impressed with my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus than I was the Ultimate. Um, I've liked the items in there. I feel like there were some pretty good items. And here, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, there is some good stuff in here. I think the Huda palette is nice. The Makeup Geek highlighter, it's nice to get a full-size Makeup Geek highlighter, but honestly, it's not exactly my favorite. I really can't even see it on the back of my hand anymore. And like, even over here, I accidentally swatched it on top of lip gloss and it's kind of showing up, but it's still not really showing up, which means it's not sticking to a tacky surface. Uh, the colored rain eyeshadow was pretty, but it was just like a single eyeshadow, which you can receive in like a regular Ipsy. Um, I like how the perfume smells. It smells pretty good. Oh, I think I might be able to see what people are saying now. Uh, yeah, for $50, I personally would expect a little bit more, maybe? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I would be super interested in hearing all of your thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry if I kind of was like stumbling through this. Um, it has been quite a while since I filmed, so the nerves are really kicking in right now. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I really have missed you all so, so, so much. And I hope to get back to just like regular life, regular uploading, regular everything soon. If you wouldn't care, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter because if something drastic happens to my channel, which I'm still very nervous about the potential of happening, um, that's where I'm going to be giving you guys like updates, like say if I have to make a whole new channel or something, that's where I'm going to be telling you guys like what's going on. So please go ahead and follow me there. I'll link those down below in the description. And also look for a upcoming community post about the winner of the giveaway from last month. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye.